Different types of matter with specified properties can be divided into two main categories, pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances are of constant composition. They have similar structures and the same physical and chemical properties. Pure substances cannot be divided by physical means into two or more substances. Water is an example. On the other hand, mixtures consist of two or more component substances that are physically combined without definite proportion and can be distinguished by ordinary physical means. Salt water is an example. Mixtures can be heterogeneous or homogeneous. A homogeneous mixture, even though it consists of many components, has only one face. The entire mixture has a uniform composition, and the components cannot be separated from each other. Examples of this are solutions. Heterogeneous mixtures consist of two or more different phases that can be easily identified because they are formed separately. Its composition is not uniform throughout the mixture. An example is a mixture of oil and water. Heterogeneous mixtures can be further categorized into suspension, colloid, and coarse mixtures. A suspension is a mixture of liquids with particles of an undissolved solid. Salad dressing is an example of a suspension. A colloid is an intermediate between a solution and a suspension. Particles of a colloid do not separate and can be distinguished using a scattering of light called Tyndall effect. When light passes through a colloidal solution, Light scatters because of the particles dispersed in the solution. Lastly, coarse mixtures are those which are simply combination of two or more substances, whose particles are larger than those of suspensions and colloids, and which are easily identified by naked eyes. It is possible to further identify a pure substance as either an element or a compound. An element is considered to be the simplest type of matter, since it contains only one kind of atom. It cannot be broken down into simpler substances through physical or ordinary chemical means. Examples of elements include carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. Each element has its own unique chemical name with its corresponding chemical symbol. An element symbol consists of one to three letters, with the first letter in uppercase and the remaining letters in lowercase. They are organized in a table called the periodic table of elements to provide a systematic and logical arrangement of the recognized chemical components. The elements are arranged into a grid of horizontal rows called periods and vertical columns called groups. Elements belonging to the same group have comparable physical and chemical properties. Elements are also classified as metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. Metals are located at the left side of the periodic table. Iron, copper, gold, and zinc are examples. These elements are ductile, malleable, lustrous, good conductors of heat, and can be formed into alloys. Nonmetals like oxygen and chlorine are found at the right side of the periodic table. They are non lustrous and poor conductors of heat and electricity. Semi-metals or metalloids are those elements between metals and non-metals. Examples of these elements are boron, silicon, germanium, and tellurium. Some of these elements are used as semiconductors in the electronic industry. A compound, on the other hand, is another class of pure substance. A compound consists of two or more distinct elements that are combined chemically by mass in a given proportion. 
Each compound has physical and chemical properties that form properties of its component elements in a specific way. Water, composed of hydrogen and oxygen, is an example. From their constituents, the chemical formulas for compounds are extracted. For example, water has a hydrogen and oxygen ratio of 2 is to 1. Therefore, the formula is H2O. Compounds can be broken down or decomposed into its constituent elements by chemical means requiring external energy such as heat, light, or electricity. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with us. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification button. I'll see you in the next lesson.